Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just got insane dollar two bill win for every American in stunning turn of events. Dems blindsided. In his first 500 days in the White House, President Donald Trump is on par to be one of the most productive presidents in American history. His achievements in foreign policy, the economy, and re-establishing American exceptionalism are significant and he is far from done. Yet we are not even to the halfway point of President Trump's first term in office. If one chooses to look back over the past decade or more, one could make the argument that the United States had stumbled its way into the 21st century. For the last 17 years from 2000 to 2017 America has been under the control of the Bush and Clinton dynasties and it shows. The American people were blindsided by Islamic terrorism and wheat, hit with the worst recession since 1929, saddled with weak and ineffectual leadership unwilling to address the issues head-on and enamored with the globalist failures of Europe. We saw embroiled in a seemingly endless war in the Middle East as we attempted to export democracy, bailouts of Wall Street, and nationalizing our big banks spending our way into oblivion, and the forfeiting our sovereignty on the world stage. Then in November 2016, President Trump took America and the world by storm, changing the course of history and beginning the process of righting these wrongs of the past. Promising to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem and actually doing it, unlike prior administrations that repeatedly made the promise but never kept it. Within days of the embassy move, President Trump withdrew the U.S. from the failed Iran nuclear deal, a decision fully supported by Israel. He is also the only president in the last 30 years from any party to actually get tough on China while also managing to handle decades of issues that have plagued the U.S. from Asia. President Trump is also making extreme strides in the economy. Unemployment just hit an unprecedented 50-year low at 3.8 percent, and our gross domestic product continues to remain resilient and healthy. Much of this growth can be directly attributed to President Trump's historic tax cuts signed into law six months ago. Combined with the deregulation of cumbersome and restrictive rules left over from prior administrations, the resulting effect is an economic boom that benefits all Americans. Specific demographics such as the black community are benefiting even more as they saw all-time record low unemployment at 5.9 percent in April 2018. The Hispanic or Latino unemployment rate ticked up a tenth of a point but remains below 5 percent. Before President Trump took office. That stat could only be said of one month since the Statistics Bureau began tracking it in the 1970s. The Washington Examiner reports dash. The good news is not confined to the fact that there is an abundance of jobs. Wages are rising, too. For the first time since the National Federation of Independent Business began surveying about wages in 1986, 35% of small business owners increased compensation last month. The stock market liked what it saw on Friday and the Dow Jones Industrial Average responded with a jump of 0.9 percent, while the Nasdaq climbed 1.5 percent, and the S&P 500 index rose 1.1 percent. And now President Trump is doing it again, making deals and creating more jobs. He has negotiated with Australia's richest person to invest $2 billion in the U.S. and creating 5,000 high-paying jobs. According to Fox Business Dash, Anthony Pratt, the richest person in Australia, will be investing nearly $2 billion in the U.S. in hopes of creating new jobs and doubling American food production, and he credits it all to President Trump's business-friendly Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. The tax overhaul slashed the corporate tax rate to 21 percent from 35 percent in hopes of making the U.S. more competitive with foreign countries. It's going to lead to a tsunami of investment in the United States, he said during an interview with Fox Business Stuart Varney on Tuesday. We make corrugated boxes, everything that's manufactured goes in a box. So we think we're a barometer of the economy." Pratt, the executive chairman of Visi Industries and Pratt Industries in America, has already built 70 U.S. factories, most located in the Midwest, and created more than 8,000 high-paying manufacturing jobs since venturing into the American market 25 years ago. The billionaire cardboard king hopes to add 5,000 jobs more to the economy with his latest investment. The majority of Pratt's customers, his company sells corrugated, cardboard boxes, are in the food industry, so a few years ago he said they started a conversation about doubling the food production industry and American exports. I'm here in the Midwest today celebrating the fact that beef and dairy exports are up 16 percent, he said. The hits keep coming for the left as they continue to be blindsided by the success of the Trump administration. They keep expecting President Trump to fail and he just keeps right on winning. The Democrats keep predicting a so-called blue wave in November with the 2018 election, 
yet they are not capable of creating jobs and improving the economy like President Trump is. President Trump is on a winning streak that will not quit and Americans are benefiting from it, especially now after this stunning turn of events. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.